Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Proofs. This is Gundam Battle Operation, and I am still in my level 7 Gundam. I just pasted Jim Custom colors onto it before we started, and I think it actually looks pretty good. I probably mentioned before, one of the original ideas uh, was to have the Gundam be entirely white. That is how it is described in uh, Tomino's novel. But, of course, in the 70s, you did not make an anime unless you had a toy company sponsor, at least not a giant robot anime. So, the sponsor, Clover, wanted, uh, uh, wanted, uh, a very colorful robot, and they got it. So, that's why, that's why the original broadcast version of Gundam has things that are maybe a little silly, like, you know, the, uh, G-Fighter, which looks like a big old bird. Things like that, and, of course, the Gundam Hammer, because they had to sell toys. And I'm getting beat up here. I put myself in a very bad position trying to uh, cover for Siren. Did not work. And that camphor, I believe, is our random drop-in for the round. And you're going to see it pull some really good maneuvers. It is a level 6 camphor, and it can move. It, it is going to bait me expertly in a little bit, because it... I, I'm going to go out after it. I'm going to take a swing, and it is just going to pull right back, because it has the ability to... Uh, adjusts itself, basically, mid-flight, and it does so very well. I, on the campers I have, like the level 1 and 2, it does not have enough boost gauge to make that work. This does. And at least one, maybe two of our allies just went down. Trying to get behind that guy and knock him over, did not make it, and the camper shot me in the back. Yeah, that's our random drop-in, and yeah, this is tough. Yeah, as you can see, 2,800 to 400, we have a battle operation that requires a score of over 9,000. So, we, you know, I'm starting to get a little nervous here already, because I want us to get that. And I am going to get a little bit overzealous with the stabbing of things, and stun a lot of my teammates and make a big mess in pursuit of that goal. Luckily, spoilers, we make it, but... Yeah, I, I, I am not going to be playing my best for the rest of this. Slash, roll, and stun that guy. Pretty good shot. Pepper Vulcans, just because I don't, I don't have enough space to close. Got the kill. And the other thing I was thinking is that since I am relatively resilient, prob probably one of the most resilient things here... And since, of course, Azra has a GAN, which our support classes are going to be vulnerable to, I was trying specifically not just to, not just to, uh, you know, kill things, but also to make myself the ace, because I was hoping to be the most resilient and least killable thing amongst us. And I think it works. Kind of. I mean, we don't win, but the, the plan to make myself the ace works. I'm just not sure how beneficial that was. Now I'm just lounging here by, by the Medea, just getting my hit points uh, recharged. Mostly I wanted that leg damage cleared off. Again, don't want to get stopped. Now we're just trying to get close. And somebody has a charging rifle. I think it's that, uh, I don't know if it's still a Pale Rider variant or what out there, but... And that's another kill. Yeah, at this point I'm pretty much guaranteed to be the ace, so... You will also see a moment in a little bit where I am holding back on killing somebody because I want to wait for the ace counter to come up and get the extra points. I don't remember if that part works, but I actually did have strategy coming into this. I just should have told the rest of the team what I was thinking, and that is my fault. Okay, missed that shot. Yeah, ace will be selected at the three-minute mark. And... In preparation for that, I'm refilling my bazooka. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be me at this point in the round. It is. But, you know, when we were playing, I was pretty sure at this point it would be me. So I'm just waiting to get a few good shots in. And have a mostly full bazooka to go charging out after things once we have determined the ace. Or possibly just hang back so that they won't all, you know, go straight for me and murder me. Because, of course, I will be worth triple points which is not necessarily the best news. Coming up behind, I think that was Siren again. Siren had a really rough go of it in this round, but 
We had fun. Ace is me, which means, yes, all of a sudden they are all looking at me, they are all shooting at me, and I am taking heavy damage. And I believe at this point this is where I have enough frames to pull back. Yes! Yes, I do! And I see one person coming through here trying to get at me, and they have low hit points, and that's when I decide to try and get them. Again, I may screw this up, I believe. This may be when the camp forgets me and gets me hard. But I'm pulling out. I'm going to fire a shot around the corner or up the hill, as may be the case. Yeah, here's the camphor. I tried to tackle it and just look at the backdash like that. That was magnificent, and I am about to die. So I was trying to get a swing off before I did, but nope. The good news is that the other ace killed me, so it is, you know, the, the ace... You're worth triple points as an ace, the ace gets triple points for kills, but if an ace kills an ace, you do not get nine times the score. Thank goodness, because otherwise I probably would have just screwed us pretty hard. Yeah, definitely, definitely the, the other team is looking to win this one, and they do, indeed. But poor Bop's out there by himself, I'm just waiting for my, uh, for my respawn time to be down. I was wearing my respawn reducing metal, so this is actually the, the nice version of it. it. It could have been much worse. But I see a couple uh, likely kills here, and I get up behind the best I can, because I need to kill those if I can. Got the st uh, stun. Got it. Took a swing. Tackle kill. 1,200 points. And I believe if I can get... Nope. Somebody else got uh, the uh, camper, so that's not happening. But there will be more opportunities. Like, Heavy Arms is weakening. And I got the kill there. Anybody could have gotten it, but I had I had the shot and I took it. And we just need one more. Which is why I'm really pushing myself here. One more... If I can get one more kill myself, then I'm just praying that they don't kill Zala before I can get at him. But yeah, if I can get one more kill myself... We've got the... Uh, we've got it. He's trying to run away, and perfect timing. Just that is probably the best shot of my entire career, right there. But I got it. And now the camper is probably going to kill me. But I got us the battle operation, which was 18,000 points and plus two drops. So you know, I may have screwed up a lot of this, but I did my duty to the team. I provided the battle operation, and I made sure we fulfilled it. So I have done worse. Yep. Seven seconds left, I am not even going to be able to uh, respawn. But yeah, so we got our battle operation. I apologize to everyone, yeah, because I was, again, not playing my best, but the strategy I did have, the things I wanted to accomplish, I did. I just did not communicate to the team. Sorry, everybody. But it's very rare for me to actually have a strategy going in, as bad as that sounds. I just find somebody who looks like they know what they're doing and try to protect them. But this time I was actually, you know, I was actually trying to do something on my own here. No apologies need, needed, Siren. That was mostly my fault. It was almost entirely my fault. It was entirely my fault, let's be honest. But, yeah. So we lost by 5,000 points, but everybody got two drops and 18 grand for it, so... I think that's a fair trade, really. And yeah, I'm not sure why the load times got so long here, but there's like... It takes a long time for it to go through the uh, promo screen and all. It just happens sometimes, but... Uh, yes, the like I said before, the current promo is the full armor Gundam ground assault type, so that's the one that was going around in the weekly points promo, so if you got enough of a score or the New Year's promo. So if you got enough of a score during that to get it started, Platinum Chips will add 5% to your uh, goal, so good luck. And again, this round of weekly points, the Jim Striker Advanced Type, which has two melee weapons, first ever, and Anna Velgado's Gelgug. So good luck to all. That will do it for this week's round of Gundam Battle Operation. We may be back with more later, or possibly a toy review later this week. We'll see. Until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later!